In this last chapter, I'm going to give you some moves that uh, haven't really made it a style yet. This is going to be the easiest section on this whole DVD. These are the hand taps. Ready? Tapping goes like this. One in the front, one in the back, on the left. Front again, front. One on the right, front, front, left. On the music, here we go. Now we're tapping our hands the same way as we do the sixth step. So we go one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Check the sixth step. One, two, three, four, five, six. 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 On music. This one is not just a hand tap, but at the same time, we're rolling our hips. This is a move we got from Dynamic Rockers. Okay, it goes like this. Belly rolls as well. It's just another addition to whatever we were doing before, whatever people are doing. It's nice to roll on your belly sometimes because you change levels. Sometimes you're sitting down on your feet, that's one level. Sometimes you get up in the air, that's the second level. The third level is sitting on your butt. The fourth level is being on your belly or being on your back. You see, if you change these levels as well, it gives you more dimension, it gives you more dynamics. So have fun with it. Belly roll number one. We start with the kick out. Kick out one, kick out two. Now from here, we straight this leg, we get down, we roll on our belly. Now what's important, we're bringing our legs up. We push up with our hands, so we land like this. And we get into the next kick out. Ready? One more time. Here we go. Kick out. Kick out. Kick out. Belly roll. Kick out. Let's do it to the music. This belly roll, we do straight out of the room again. So from here, out of this position, we roll over our belly, then we kick up, kick, we do a step, we turn, and we come up. So one more time, ruminating. After that, belly roll. We kick up, we put the foot on the floor, those two feet are not moving, turning my knees. Now I lift the foot to the side and I'm coming up. Everybody who knows house dance or lofting knows the dolphin, which is one of the floor moves. The dolphin goes like this. We kick up, and at the same time, we roll down. One more time, it's kick, 
and roll. Now, we're not doing a dolphin that way. We're doing it the b-boy way. No, this is my way, the way I'm doing it. You can do it however you want to. But uh, me personally, because if the music is faster, I try to get it a bit more swift too. So, uh, you know, the kick is not really appearing anymore. Check it out. We're coming from the hook. From the hook, we do the circle. Then we kick out with this one. And at the same time, we jump into the dolphin. Like this. Hook. S circle. Then I kick. And I'm coming down. And I'm coming back up. One more time. Hook. Circle. To the front. Kick. Come back up. And out. Ready? we always call it the lofty because it comes from lofting we're jumping up we shoot in and while we're shooting we're going on the floor like this then we're turning we push with our hands as much as we can and as much as the floor is not sticky then we roll back we come up and we're there that's the lofty Well, the next ingredient that I'm giving you is slides. Well, everybody knows what a slide is, but uh, I'm just gonna give you a few. Well, you know that this is infinite anyways. Yeah, I'm hoping it's gonna give you some inspiration. I'm hope you're gonna carry it on, and I'm hoping that you're gonna come up with another 100 slides. What's really good about slides, it's, uh, it leaves you the whole space. If you have a dance floor, use the dance floor. Use all the space that you got, especially with the slides you can travel. And when you travel, it gives you a new dimension. Here we go. Now this step, a knee slide, could fit very, very well into the no hand footwork. Yeah, I prepared the floor a little bit because I'm gonna slide right here. Okay, so I made like a little rail here. What I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna do the no hand sweep. I'm going in from the top, doing this. I'm going to turn on my knee, then I'm going to tuck in, get up, and then slide from here to there. Of course, that's not the only way on how we can do this knee slide. Here we go. Okay, let's get it done. The next slide. It's a little bit more difficult because now we're going from here. Remember, a little bit like the pretzel. We go over and now we make ourselves long like this and then we slide. With a little bit more momentum, of course, we slide further. And from here, we can do whatever. We could go into footwork that way, we could go into footwork back, we could go into whatever, no hand, footwork, and so on and on. Well, let's do this move and we start from the swing. Now when we did the pretzel, we went like this. Kick, step, and then we were swinging around to do this. Now, we're doing it with the swing, from here. We go, swing, 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 from here, we go over and we slide. Now 
since I just introduced the belly rolls to you, I'm even more happy to introduce you now the butt slide. Are you ready? Okay, listen. We start with the kick out. Then we turn, get on our belly. And now this foot is pushing us that direction and we slide on our butt. From here, we kick, kick spin, kick out, get back, butt slide, kick spin, kick out, get down, butt slide. That's the last move for today. <laughs> 